Hi friends, brothers and sisters, I am Anya and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's gospel comes from the gospel of Luke chapter 16 verses 9 to 15. And our gospel today is actually a direct continuation of yesterday's gospel. And so Jesus continues to highlight stewardship. And today he is highlighting the stewardship of money. So just take a bit of time and think how do you handle your own money? Jesus in today's gospel teaches us to be responsible of what we own because he recognizes that there is some danger when we as people, as humans, have ownership of something. This ownership can give us a sense of power and even more dangerously, it can lead us to become attached to it, attached to either money itself or attached to the power that comes with it. And the more attached we become to these things, we actually become slaves to them. And it's because we end up working throughout our whole lives just for these things. And that's what attachment to these things can do. And so Jesus is telling us to be cautious or to be aware of how we handle our belongings because it can actually lead us away from God. This is why Jesus says today that no servant can serve two masters. He cannot serve God and mammon or money. And Jesus wants us to have eternal life and wants us to live in service to God. So it becomes a good question to ask us, ask ourselves, how can we become good stewards of what we own? And again, from today's gospel, Jesus says, the person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. So Jesus is basically reminding us that how we take care of the small things, whether it's our belongings, our money, our look, you know, these small things, it reflects how we take care of the big things. How do we live our lives? Who do we put our trust in? How do we take care of others? To become trustworthy in small matters, it will show that we can also be trustworthy in big matters. And Jesus wants us to be trustworthy in big matters. He wants us to be honest in big matters. And we can start doing that, becoming that, by being trustworthy and being honest in small matters, which is why uh, Jesus is reminding us to do so. And so Jesus is, again, teaching us to be good stewards of what we have. Sometimes it may even help to think that we don't even have ownership of these things. And we can do that by remembering that we ourselves, we belong to God. What we have, whether it's money, whether it's power, those are actually gifts from God. We do not own these things. Even our life itself is a gift from God. And that's why Jesus calls us to be stewards, to be servants, not owners, not masters. Because these things, these are not ours. These are gifts from God. So how do we become or how can we be good stewards of the gift of life that we have? What can we do to strive to serve God with our life, with our money, with our possessions? If you have been blessed by this short reflection, remember to like and share Pathways of Hope to your friends and loved ones. Again, I'm Anya. Thank you and God bless you.